In this video, I want to show you a quick little uh, how to on how to clean up your computer. So, I am a big proponent, at least I believe in them. I don't promote them a lot, but Norton Utilities. So, Norton Utilities, you can go to Norton Security, Internet Security, and then there's, they've got a product suite. So, there's two different sets. One is the main the main one here is Norton 360. So, pick up that one. But then you can go in and do, there's a lot of different areas inside of here that you can go ahead and clean up your actual computer. I don't worry about so much as the internet security, but I want to make sure that anything that's saved on my computer gets cleaned out on a regular basis. So what I'm gonna what I do on no, on about it every two days or every day. I use my computer a lot, so for most people it's good to do it every week. But every day if you don't if you do it every day you, you it just becomes a habit so it's easy but what I do is I run a smart scan so then I just ran it a minute ago but if you click on smart scan it'll pop up with something like this and then you'll go to here to next and go to next and so then it'll just check on three different levels for three different things and it'll, then you go to complete there alright so then we go to now we've got a number of different other things we can run as well but what I do here is on Norton, so let's go back to Norton 360 we can get out of this, go over to Norton 360 and then the next piece of it here is, so we run a smart scan, we make sure there's nothing bad on the computer right off the bat there but then let's go to make sure, let's, we can set up a backup so on mo most, for setting up a backup what you want to do is back uh, define your backup set. Now that's the files or folders on your computer that you want to back up on a regular basis. Now Norton will it gives you about a hundred gigabytes of space so you're not going to back up all your photos here but you're going to back up like your most important like files like all your financial files that you have on your computer and all your other files that aren't like media heavy like your photos and videos but any other files that you have on your computer that you'd ever want to lose. So that's what I that's that's what I've done, defined in my backup set here. And so all you're gonna do is click on your backup set and then you're gonna that you can follow the steps there to set it up. It's very straightforward. And then if you want need to run backup more often than twenty four hours, you hit run backup and it'll pull it'll take the most recent version of those files and put it up there replacing the rid the other version of it. So then it doesn't store up too much in the hundred gigabytes that it gives you. Alright, then the next step here is we want to go over the performance. So we're going to optimize disk. We're going to go to file cleanup. Just make sure that there's no just files dragging your computer down. They're not malicious in the sense of security wise. They're not going to harm your computer. They just slow it up. You know, it's kind of like this is your oil change for your computer. And so you're just going to click on optimize disk and it'll automatically start running. This takes about anywhere between 30 seconds to 3 minutes depending on how often you run it. A file cleanup, this generally goes very quickly and so now, now it's done, right? And then if we go over to Startup Manager, now you're only going to need to set up Startup Manager probably once or once and then maybe review it every year or so, but if you go to Startup Manager you can see all the different programs that, you could, that start up when your computer does and you're able to delay those like you're going to say, oh, okay, well do I really need this to start when my computer starts up? And for the most part, if if you don't recognize the file name of it, but if you recognize like the brand name, like delayed launcher, you could probably delay that. Realtek, US HD audio service, that's a, the way my computer does sound. So we're gonna find Acronis, that's a back another backup type schedule scheduler. So I don't mind that starting up there. Generally, you're going to look at the resource usage, and if it's a medium to high, you can you might get rid of it. But generally, I only get rid of the high ones. As you can see, I still got some medium ones here. I don't need the Skype for Business to pop on. A hey, PowerSoft is always helpful. That's what I'm recording the video on now. Got Slack, Web Comparison, Opera Assistant. I don't need. I don't. I can make sure that's off there. And since you can see all the programs that start or don't start. Now if it's checked, that means it's on, if it's off, or you can start delay start. So after so once the computer is pretty much loaded up, then it'll click into delay start and make it easy for you to load up your computer make it's easier to start your computer will start up faster and like 
it's the, it's the processes that run after you start your car versus the processes run as you start your car. Those are the two different things. So it's it's very simple to set up, but if you have, just, I would just go through here and scroll on through it saying here, you know, do I have anything that's super high resource usage that I know isn't really, I don't really need to, that don't need to run Time Doctor anymore. I don't need to run a lot of this stuff at the beginning. So that's just one of the things you need to do to keep your computer running well, starting up well. So all in all, this should, uh, Norton 360, got a couple hundred bucks a year, but it'll keep your system running well and strong. So this is Norton 360. Um, yeah, if you got any questions on it, feel free to drop them in the comments below this video, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys.